the Troy Cox Invitational at New Mexico State. Time some for good cold beverages and some good softball and baseball playing. Here come the Aggies. Yeah, Miners in the house too. New Mexico State freshman Gabby Aragon showing bunt. First base runner of the game, Keila Browns takes second. Later in the at bat, Aragon hits one through the gap to put New Mexico State on the board first. Nikki Butler, next batter. Big hitter, drops low, sends one to the center field fence. She'll beat the tag at second for a double. Aragon scores, 2-0, Aggies. Rivalry claps. Still in the first inning, intentional walk, and the bases are loaded. That spells trouble. Maya Martinez gets all of this one. That's a pinch hit grand slam to put the Aggies ahead. Seven, zip. New Mexico State gets the run rule and takes this one, nine to one. The Miners have been a pleasant surprise all season, and they were looking for another resume boost this afternoon, hosting Old Dominion, the number two team in the conference. Isaiah Hudson connects on the corner triple, keeping the pressure on UTEP. Katarina Zetch, now the 14th member of the Minor 1000 Point Club. Yeah, she'll banana split you. Lays it in for two, Gallegos. Katia Gallegos corrals one of her six rebounds, launches a pass right where it needs to be. That's a Sabine Lipe bucket. Michelle Pruitt, feed Lipe, creates her own space and earns two more. Miners tied up at halftime. Gallegos to Zek. She cuts through to the basket. A career high, 22 points for her. Taylor Edwards kisses the glass. The Monarchs outlast the Miners for their ninth consecutive win. Strong showing for UTEP. They fall to ODU, 77 to 68. Here's what head coach Kevin Baker had to say after the game. I keep saying it over and over, we're close. We're close, but we're just not quite there yet. I do love this team. I love how we battle. But if we want to get in the top four of Conference USA and really battle this thing out, we got to figure out ways to win games like that that are tied down the stretch against really, really good teams. The Miners fall to 13-9 on the season. They'll travel to Western Kentucky for a Thursday showdown.